Hello, this is my drum studio and I have a project. I want to reduce the reverberation in the room. So I'm going to hang a bunch of mo moving blankets on the walls and on the ceiling to cut to, to do this, to cut down on the on the reverberation, off the, you know, the sound bouncing off the walls. I'm going to use microphones, two microphones, to do a before and after comparison to show how much of a difference it makes. There's already several videos on YouTube showing uh, where, where people have done a similar comparison, uh, and it it appears it should work. It seems like in all other cases it, it did it did make quite a a big difference. Um, and people use moving blankets because they're a cheaper, a much cheaper alternative to using professional grade um, acoustical treatments. I'll, I'll also put links to the materials I use down below in case that's helpful to anybody and I'll talk a little bit about how I went about hanging the blankets because it was a little, a little more complicated than I initially thought. Let me just show you around the room a little bit so you get an idea of the space we're working in. Okay so the main point is that we're in a pretty small space here. Small basement Low ceiling. Ceiling's only like six four or something like that. Stops over here. There's a little closet back there. And then and then it basically ends. There's not, not nothing really back here. This is just it's a crawl space and that's where the boiler is. Uh, oh wait, let me point this out. So I've got this drum set covered already because the drum heads and the cymbals resonate when there's sounds, right? So, so I'm going to use this drum set to to do the sound tests, and I don't want this one, um, you know, the cymbals resonating. Uh, so, so I just got everything covered up because we want the comparison just to be of the sound bouncing off the walls. All right, I think that's it. I think I think we're good. I'm gonna start working. Okay, so I just wanna show you how I'm going about hanging these uh, these blankets. Um, so there's a bunch of parts, a bunch of pieces here that come in the, in the kit, the grommet kit. The first one you use is this. This is like a hole punch. And I already made a hole here. I'm not gonna do any hammering right now, but I already made this hole. You just put, you know, and you want, you need some wood um, to go into. And so what I did was, you know, you put this on a spot on the blanket and you just, you hammer it, work it around. You see all these, all these uh, marks from the, from whatever this is called, hole puncher. When you make a hole, this, the bits of the blanket go into this spot, this little compartment here. Uh, but be careful about ever trying to clean it out or dig it out. The edges of this are super sharp. They're like a knife blade. I cut my, I actually cut my fingers in a couple of spots, but I cut my thumb and it was bleeding quite a bit the other day, so be careful about that. Um, yeah, just let it go. I mean, it'll it'll clear itself out. Next, you put this little, I don't know what this is, this is like, like a little base, and then you take this part of the, the grommet, put that down, it's the, it's the one with like the lip. Then you're gonna put your hole over that. Then you're gonna take this part of the grommet, the flat bit, put that on top, then you're gonna take this thing. I don't know what we call these these parts. Um, and then you're just you're gonna hammer it down. Actually, I'll just do this one. Boom. See that? And I've I've found a lot of these. I've been doing it um, two layers at a time. I think I don't know. I think maybe you could get another layer in there. Once the grommets are in, I've been hanging it pretty much just putting these either this these type of dry, drywall screws i think this is like an inch and a half and this one's two and a half inches one or the other depending on how snug how secure it's feeling just directly into the drywall or wood um and then i just hang the blanket directly on onto that no need i haven't found any need for any special sort of uh pieces that like fit more tightly into the dr drywall that are designed to put to put screws into drywall um just just plain drywall screws screws are working well all right Enough of that. So I'm done 
with the blankets. There's 12 blankets up in this room now. I just want to show you how things are looking. So you can see what I've done, how things have changed. Um, so there's blankets all over here. There's this one hanging sort of between the room and the stairs. There's that one on the wall, on the way up the stairs. I'll point out that there's nothing up in here in the stairwell. Nothing new hung. And all these are new, all these blankets around the walls. Back there, you can see I've got my drums covered up again because I was just making the, the comparison recording and I just wanted to cover these up so they weren't ringing. Um, I'm also cheating a little bit. I got a couch cushion up there and a couple pillows. Uh, I figured it's not really cheating because I mean everybody has a couch cushion or, um, and pillows that they can use if they want. Um, and then you can see a couple more blankets here. And then this is the a, a blanket uh, clamped onto a room divider. So I'm happy with the way things look. I think it sounds a little more muffled in here. I'm not sure yet how much the uh, how much of a difference we'll all hear on the on the sound comparison between the mics. I'll point out that a couple things I know is that one. Right, these are just movie blankets. They aren't professional grade stuff, so you know they're not, maybe not going to work that well because of that. I think each of these weighs like five pounds each, five, uh, five and a half pounds, something like that. So they're not, you know, not that dense, um, but not nothing. And uh, the other thing I'll say is that I know that it's better if, when you hang sound treatments, um, panels or, or blankets, it's better to hang them. Uh, I think an inch or a few inches from the wall is what I've read. Um, apparently that works better. Um, and I haven't done that, although some of these are hanging pretty loosely or they're just hanging out in the open like this or, or they're just hanging kind of loosely in the wall. So there's like a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, like an inch or inch and a half maybe. But, you know, and also to point out, a lot of these are like doubled up or even quadrupled up. So they're, they're pretty, pretty thick. I think that's it. I'm curious to see what the sound comparison will show. This is what my voice sounds like in the room before the blankets. This is what my voice sounds like in the room before the blankets. This is how my voice sounds in the room after the blankets. This is how my voice sounds in the room after the blankets. This is what my voice sounds like in the room before the blankets. This is what my voice sounds like in the room before the blankets. This is how my voice sounds in the room after the blankets. This is how my voice sounds in the room after the blankets. All right, so I'm editing together this video and I've had a chance to listen to the comparisons a lot. And I just wanted to share what I'm hearing here. First, I just wanna say that I, I was really careful when I did the recordings to keep the, for before and after, the, those mics were within a few inches of where they were each time. 
um, both the Q2N out in the room. I like marked on the ceiling where w right above the mic, so I would line it up the same way. Um, and then same thing with the AT4040 on top of the drums. I was just I was careful about having it at the same level in the same spot over the drums. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, and then same with the gain. Um, and it's possible I made mistakes, but I, I at least I tried. So I just, I just wanted to mention that I was, I was careful to that level. One thing that is really interesting to me is that the, the, well, the sound dampening works, right? The, the blankets make, make quite a big difference. Um, but one thing that's really interesting to me is that the, it seems to make the drums and my voice sound closer to the mic. Um, which I guess kind of makes sense in a way because I think we're, you know, when, when there's reverberation in a room, it gives you the sense of spa more space. And so I think maybe it's kind of like, I don't know, for some reason we, we just perceive it that way. When there's more reverberation, it sounds more, more distant, I think. And then when you take that away, it just makes it seem like it's closer, uh, closer to you. I also want to point out, you can hear the difference. If you want another comparison, you can listen at about two minutes and six minutes when I was walking around in the room and doing the my little tours before and after. You can also just hear my voice as I'm walking around the rooms and you hear you hear a big difference. And so in conclusion, I'm really happy with the blankets. Uh, all in all, I think I spent like $150, maybe $200 for everything. It was maybe like three hours of labor. Um, and I like the way my studio looks a lot better and I like the way it sounds a lot better. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. I hope this video was helpful for somebody and uh, I'll see you next time.